Hey Kevin. Okay, so I'm gonna go over another um, trick or whatever tool to add to your like toolbox for your contest math stuff. Um, so this one is actually this one's really cool. This one is uh, not commonly used by a lot of people. Sorry, this one's not commonly used by a lot of people, but it's um it's very nice for it's not commonly used because it's, it only applies to very specific situations. You would only use it when you're finding the area of a polygon on a Cartesian plane or grid. So uh, a Cartesian plane or a Cartesian grid is just um, a coordinate system. Uh, I don't know if you've actually, I'm sure you've encountered these. Coordinate system, which is um, the x and y axes, and uh, all of the numbers on the y axes are uh, you know, the integers, or I guess it's the entire range, but usually we just look at the integers, and then, or we just label the integers, and then um, the x is, is all, all, the, all the real numbers, and we just label the integers as well. Um, so this is uh, just one of the ways of finding the area of a polygon. I'll, I'll cover the other ones later. Um, triangles, you know, there's a lot of ways to find the area of polygon and triangles, but we'll go over this one. This one is is um, pretty cool. So the area, so this is called shoelace because you end up doing like a shoelace type of um, drawing, I guess, in order to 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 uh, to get the area. Um, and the way it works is going uh, which is down and right, you're gonna add them, and then going down and left, you're gonna subtract all the products. So you're gonna you're gonna multiply multiply these two numbers, and you're gonna add them, and you're gonna multiply these two numbers, and you're gonna subtract them. So in words, given points A, B, C, D, and E F, the area of the enclosed triangle is this thing. A D plus C F plus E B minus B C minus D minus A F over two. So I'm gonna give you some examples so we can kind of get an idea of how this works. And so um, we'll go with the simplest example first, which is just the triangle at 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 1. So in a Cartesian plane, 0, 0. 1, 0, and 0, 1. So it would look like this. So this is a very easy one, right? You got one here, one here, so the area should be one half. So in, in, in this way, um, you know, we would do it like this. 0, 0, or here, I'll try to write it so you can see it. Uh, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And then we would go down and we multiply them. So it's 0 plus 1 plus 0, that's 1, minus 0, minus 0, minus 0, minus 0 over 2 equals 1 and a half. So we can see that we can uh, we can do the uh, we can check with this basic area formula, the 1 by 1 divided by 2, in order to get this. Um, so we can we we have we can check that, that, that this formula works essentially. Um, then I'll go over something a little bit more interesting. I usually didn't see I didn't see a lot of these in my day, but um, you know these they, they, you can use this this way, and that would be for the area of the square, um, or it could really be any any quadrilateral. I'm just using a square for example. Um, I'll probably give you another example later too. So this one is at these points. So then we would do it. Uh, negative one, 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 negative one, negative one, negative one, negative one, one. And we would, uh, this is negative one, minus one, minus one. Oh, yeah, that's the absolute value, sorry, because this is a, uh, huh, I should have thought of it. Absolute value, this is an error, you can't have any negative areas, and I'm about to produce one. Um, so, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Minus another one, it's negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8. So that's negative 8 over 2 equals 4. And we can confirm this is 2 times 2, and the area of the square is 4. Alright, I'm going to go over one more simple example, um, which is just a triangle at you know, 0, 0, 3, 4, and 0, 4. 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Four and zero four. So it looks something like this. This is four. This is three. And just to test you, what is this number? 
It's the right triangle. It's five. Um, but anyway, so we'll go over the, the area. So zero, zero, three, four, zero, four, zero, zero. And also notice that it, it does, it doesn't really matter what you pick for AB, but I pick zero, zero for all of these. Wait, let me just check that. I pick zero, zero because it's easier to multiply by zero. So if you can have something, if you can have a point at zero, zero, you should use it because it just makes everything easier. There's just less adding. Um, so this is zero plus 12, zero, so that's 12. Minus zero, minus zero, minus zero, uh, over two equals six. Wow, uh, three times four over two is six, so confirmed. So, you know, we know this method works, and you can use it on more difficult shapes, um, on more difficult, uh, on more, like, you know, more difficult triangles and, and, and stuff like that. Um, and if you have any questions, or if you want to see any more, like, complex examples, you know, just text me or, or tell me when, when we call and uh, I'll just make one. So, yeah. See you next time.